all right guys what's up welcome back and today we're going to be doing a little different video because i made no trades on that account today so there's nothing to show i'll be doing this and then watch this later but starting off what did elon say today elon basically said tesla robo taxi will unveil 88 i mean we are thinking it's this year that means that a robo taxi tesla might be able to go on the road I'm not sure if it's going to have a steering wheel, maybe, maybe not. But this means that the vehicle might be able to comfortably drive by itself. And Tesla is the only company right now that's successfully doing this at scale where they can take a car, it can see, learn the area and actually go on and just do its own thing. Robo taxis are good for, say you want to do a delivery, you just send it, say you want to go pick up someone. You just send it, say you buy a Tesla and you just want it to go on the road and do some Uber, make some extra income for you while you're at work or something. Because, you know, cars are mostly parked when they're not in use. So it's probably just parked. They're not doing anything. You can send your Tesla on the road to kind of go and get some money. Right. Um, so what sets Tesla apart from the other companies? What I want to say, let's even start with what the other companies have. So how do other companies actually get to make a full self-driving car or autonomous car? So what you need for autonomous car is basically you need the vehicle to prove that it can drive by itself safely because the regulators won't allow it to be on the road unless it is safe. Um, Waymo and also Cruise, which is um, Chevrolet's attempt at full self-driving. So you see a Cruise car. This is on Chevrolet vehicles. And then you have Chevrolet. <laughs> it's funny. But Waymo, this is Google's attempt at full self-driving. And they're, all of them are taking different approach. I mean, some are using LiDAR. Some are using different technologies. Tesla is using the camera. So it's a little different. But Tesla has a neural net. So it's not like the other companies that are kind of mapping out the area, what is typically there, what you can expect there. The vehicle is like seeing like, all right, there's a construction site. What do I do in construction site? The vehicle is thinking. That's what kind of sets Tesla apart from the other companies that a lot of people don't understand. Um, all of the Tesla vehicles, except for the Cybertruck, come fitted with um come fitted with the cameras needed for full self driving and the capability so there's nothing that you have to bring into a tesla shop for them to enable full self driving i guess maybe if you're on an older older model probably but if you're on a model up to probably 2018 2017 up you should be good so waymo has 7.1 million driverless miles so let's get back to the miles what sets Tesla apart from these other companies? So Tesla has, no, Waymo has 7.1 driverless miles, and that's in 2023. You have Cruise has about how many miles? This is October 2023. So we're just trying to match it and kind of project out. I mean, I'm not seeing any miles driven here, but I'm just going to show you the actual difference between, oh, here, here you go. Cruise has 4 million driverless miles without life-threatening injuries or fatalities. So Cruise actually has about 4 million and that was in October. Tesla now. Tesla is looking at currently above a billion miles driven on full self-driving. Right? So what's, what, what makes that important? That is a lot of miles driven teaching the software. And that software is able to teach all the other vehicles out there. And every use case that a vehicle goes through, that update is updated into the other Teslas. And it's not that easy for other companies to do that. So that's what kind of sets Tesla apart from all the other vehicles, right? And even Elon is saying here that it won't be long before Tesla exceeds 10 billion miles of FSD. And even if... Tesla just gives people the autonomous software to use for free, they actually benefit because that's actually teaching their model. So it makes so much sense. 
Tesla has a neural net approach when it comes to full self-driving. They're using, similar to humans, you're using eyes for vision, cameras, and then you're using a neural net, which is a brain. And what, it, what the neural net is able to do is infer what's going on. So, okay, I'm seeing a pothole or I'm seeing a stop sign. Vehicles tend to stop here. I'm seeing a car coming at me kind of dangerously. I'm able to avoid, I'm able to kind of sway. Granted, it's not the best. It's not, it is actually the best out there, but it's not like a human that can respond, right? And I'm actually going to leave this link in the bio. You can see my full self-driving beta video. You can actually take a look here. I am actually driving a Tesla Model 3, I think a 2023. In FSD beta, that was about four months ago, with, I mean, I took my hands off. You're supposed to have your hands on, but I can see where the vehicle kind of drove for itself for a majority of the time. It was pretty good. And I can imagine it being ready for prime time by when Elon is saying that's August 8th, I believe, right? If you're not into stocks and stuff like that, you can actually leave right now. I'm just going to show you a breakdown of what happened today and update my watch list as I do every single day. So if you recall last night, what was happening? I wasn't able to find a nice trade. I actually got stopped out twice. And by then I knew that I shouldn't make any more trades, especially on this account. If I'm being honest with you, I had a different account that I actually, what, what do you say? I, I did some more trades and I actually face the result of that I lost on all of those trades. I could hear my stop loss getting hit out like within 10 minutes thing. It got hit out, it got hit out. Today was actually NFP day, so it was a non-farm payroll day. You can see this move was from that. And I took out all of this downside. But then every time I entered, I wasn't able to get the proper entry. So kept hitting out my stop loss. Overall, bullish was the move for today. If I had, let me see if I had entered yesterday on a bullish move, would I have still been in? Say I entered here, I would have to have my stop loss down here to not get stopped out. So if you didn't sell it before NFP, you're wiped out. And then you'd have had to enter at 940 to get this nice clean move to the upside and close it out at around 12. That's basically what happened today. I mean, bullish was the move for today, but you wouldn't have been able to stick through this if you had actually held it through the news right which most people recommend do not hold trades through the news right bitcoin usd now let's look at bitcoin usd so bitcoin is uh not really higher than yesterday a little bit lower um what did it do it actually went down let me see if i was to enter yeah it actually went down from where I would have entered yesterday, if that was even the opening candle, it went down very violently and then came back up. So Bitcoin wouldn't have been a good trade if you were swinging that as I usually do. So currently the price at 6820. Let's look at Tesla. I think Tesla is probably up now because this is big news. I'm going to be honest. Oh, it's same as yesterday. Interesting. Interesting. Look at this now. Look at this. This is actually when Elon made the tweet. So people know what's going on. You can see people bought this stock up as soon as that news released. And this was during the extended trading hours. Elon actually did the tweet at 4.48, I believe, if I'm being accurate. Uh, let's click it. Yeah, 4.49. So I'm pretty accurate, you know. So he, he basically said that bit of news here and it rallied heavy. IMMR immersion. What does this mean? 7.32. So not really much move from immersion. I wouldn't say this is a good ticker to trade. You can see the moves, the moves are very broken. So you can get you can enter here and it just gaps up and the moves aren't good. They're not something that you'd want to trade, I would say at least. Um bit farms, I think they're lower. Think you're lower 2.10 yep bit farms is a little lower than even yesterday it's 
actually the lowest I've seen it in a while. And we're coming closer to that halving, which is April 22nd. So maybe it's reacting from that NVIDIA 880. So NVIDIA isn't really doing a lot. It's up about 20. I'm not sure if it's going to react from this Tesla news. It kind of should. I think Tesla is using some NVIDIA chips to kind of train their neural net and their supercomputer. So who knows? I'm not sure if that's a direct sympathy, you know? AMD now, we're back at 170. So after that sell-off yesterday, we still had a nice move up. I think this was yesterday. Yeah, this was yesterday. We had a move up in the pre-market. <laughs> these, these are such violent moves. But it could have been a nice trade if you caught that sell-off. Um, SMCI. That would have burnt up your premium, though. That's what I hate about that. These big sells off, these burn up your premium. So even if you bought a put or a call, you'd have been burnt, 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 burnt. So overall, I would say, all right, Bitcoin overall. So Bitcoin, same. $300 is not a big difference. Tesla, higher off. Elon tweet. MMR same, bid farm lower. So that that you I have to note that bid farm is lower and let's actually look at some other crypto miners. So bid farm is lower and who else? Who else? There's also I think it's Hive. Hive technology, so Hive is lower as well. Well, a Hive there is so our word mm. there is terra terra wolf terra wolf is at 2.33 so it's actually coming down from a high here there's mara marathon digital at 1850 coming from highs of like 24 hasn't been much higher than that in a while. I mean, <laughs> before March, it was up at like 34. Damn. I think they pumped these up because they could tell people might look to them as the moves, but they actually weren't the moves. And I'm actually one of those persons who thought that was a move. But luckily, when it comes to these positions, riskier positions, <laughs> I always tend to make it free. So I take money off the table, make sure that I don't have any more positions running. And then actually let, let the position run. And if it starts to go against me, like how these start to do, I just take it. I just take the rest of it, which ends up being basically my money. So I make like one and a half on these trades, right? Um, it's actually right. What else I'm seeing here? NVIDIA, slightly lower. AMD, back up and smci lower so you see smci always gives you that exaggerated move it doesn't have to do that but gives you that exaggerated move so if we start to move up next week we'll probably see the same thing from smci but tesla i can tell tesla is gonna rock it next week off of the, that news or it is two ways tesla can rock it off of the news or the market sells it off for it to rock it, but it's very interesting that Elon did that, especially with earnings coming up. This can be the reasoning for a huge pump on this stock because autopilot unlocks a whole new thing for Tesla, something that people aren't even pricing in here. Are you pricing in the electric vehicles? Are you pricing in the energy storage? Are you pricing in the solar? Are you pricing in the the supercomputer are you pricing in the robots no you have to price in the autopilot this is crazy but tesla is gonna do it that's why my biggest holding in my stock portfolio is tesla and my biggest belief is tesla you actually see me have a tesla here i'm gonna buy one this summer i think a model y i want a model s after that but i'll see you in the next one bye